say about freedom of speech, but what about freedom of creativity, freedom of individuality? Everyone needs to be free and be comfortable in their own being. And there's so much negativity about, oh, you can't be this, you can't be that. And I always try to encourage my son, you can be whatever you want to be, and I will help you along the way. We can use imagination in a variety of ways, but it's being able to be in the right environment to be able to do it without judgment. Emotions are hard for children to understand. And I'm finding that with my son, like he, we've been through quite a bit recently, like losing my mum and he's struggling, which he would at the age of seven. So he's drawing pictures and then telling me about the pictures or telling me stories. And there is no right or wrong way of him expressing his feelings, but that's what's right for him at the time. So I think it's important for a child to be able to use their imagination a bit if that helps them get through a situation. We're all individuals and we should be able to express ourselves for being individual. And I think I've learned that along the way in my life. I was quite a, a shy person, bullied as a child, and I was always worried about things. But now as an adult, I'm like, actually, no, my ideas are just as important as everybody else's. And I wouldn't say that I'm overly confident, but I've grown and I know that my ideas can be used. And everyone's got their strengths, haven't they? And we all use each other's strengths. And if something doesn't work, it doesn't work, we try again. Mm -hmm. You learn from it, and I think it's nice that if you've got people around you and you can all express differently, you can help each other and make friends and grow as adults as well. It's not, you don't just stop when you're an adult growing, you grow as an adult.